One of the main things that I feel right now is just an immense feeling of gratitude. And I feel like this trip has been extremely eye-opening for myself. The amount of things I take for granted on a daily basis is just kind of grounding me back to my basics of being grateful and thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for every blessing I have. Whenever we listen to things, it's never the same as you're in the grounds, hearing everything and living everything and talking to people. It's very, very different. Inspire for me means discovery. This isn't just a vacation. You get all the perks of having a vacation, but 24 seven you're learning. It's just a learning opportunity. Working with the orphans at the camp and seeing the different sustainable development programs throughout Bosnia, I learned a lot about the importance of resilience. After going through so much pain, so much terror, they still continue to live their life and seek for prosperity. Masha'Allah, that's just like amazing. They have so much empathy for somebody that they don't even care for. And that's just like part of their amazing traits. Their character is so amazing and it inspired me to improve my own character. Alhamdulillah, being able to witness the Inspire program and not only just the amazing projects that we have here, but also truly, truly the growth of the incredible volunteers um, that have joined this trip has been phenomenal. This trip has influenced my future goals and aspirations in the sense that it has really shifted them from being self-centered to people-centered. It has made me want to aim to do things and be in situations and positions that will help people and benefit them. In the future, my career goals, my life goals, and even my religious goals are now tailored to benefit not just me, but also people, and to truly apply my service mindset. If I would describe the work that IR does is love. They do everything with love. I had a chance to visit some of the uh, development program at uh, Islamic Relief, and I was amazed by the fact that there is a level of details and attention and responsibility that the staff are put in to ensure that the funds are invested in areas that are going to be sustained over time. Help like greenhouses and agricultural training, things that are going to help them fish for themselves, but they also will give them the fish to start off. Islamic Relief really focuses on the development of families who need their support. They really, really care about these families and they put in their best work to make sure that they are okay and they're doing well and they're thriving. And this trip really awakened us to the responsibility that we have to our ummah, that we must defend it and uh, we must stand up for it. We are so blessed in Canada. Alhamdulillah, I don't have to worry about food, water. I can have AC whenever I want. And one thing I realized and learned is that we should be using these blessings every single day to help those in need. To see the smiles on the faces of the kids just by helping them, the small stuff that make them happy. And I'm realizing that we have too much in Canada. We should be helping others a lot more. Now it's our responsibility to do what we can to help spread the word of what's happening, for example, in Palestine, about the genocide that's happening there, and kind of looking for these patterns that happened, what happened in Bosnia, making sure that it never happened again. For me, this Inspire trip really reignited a sense of responsibility towards others, and it allowed me to look at the world from a different perspective, and it really imparted on me the importance of groundwork and to, to show up and to take action. If you're hesitant to join an Inspire trip, I would say to just do it. It's an incredibly life-changing experience. You learn so much and you're really inspired to create a lasting impact in this world.